Hey guys, it is Greg. It is Friday night. For those who are going to be watching this on Friday night, Friday night in the United States right now, you're probably going to do well the next bull cycle in the cryptocurrency market or whatever the market you're in, if you're listening tonight. Okay. That's, that's just what I think. So you're, that's hardcore person. All right. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. Dava Phantom. What's going on with Phantom? Well, we know Phantom is, is uh, so, so cheap not right now, isn't it? It is so cheap. Let me go to my Phantom chart. Okay, guys, I'm going to show you some stuff about Phantom. Let's take a look at it. Okay, I have boxes here. And, uh, you know, people sometimes wonder what my boxes are doing there, how I come up with the box. But this looks pretty good. Now, on this RSI, that RSI looks pretty good, but it's just not low enough, guys. It just isn't. I'll show you in a while, in a second. All right, here's the deal. This box on the whole cycle of Phantom is the 0.786 correction. So it corrected 78% off log of its whole cycle. More than likely for a coin like Phantom, it is not going to be deep enough, especially with what's going on with the chain. So I think 786 is pretty normal after a cycle for any type of coin. Bitcoin is a strong coin. It even hits uh, uh, 0.786 and 90% on its, on its waves. So of a coin like Phantom, I'm going to go off based off the statistics of what Bitcoin is doing, and it's a stronger coin. So here's 786, basically right about the middle of the box, 74, 75 cents. And right at the middle of this box, at 47 cents is 90%, okay? So this actually is the area that I'm expecting Phantom to go down to, probably wick, wick below it into that area. And this is the area I'm expecting Phantom to go to eventually. Coming up is probably going to be a bounce and a swing back down, okay? Now, also too, I wanna say, anytime I'm talking about these boxes or anything, I'm not saying you're gonna go buy the dip. I'm not saying buy the dip. I'm not saying that. In my opinion, there is nothing in the cryptocurrency market where you want to be long for any, unless you're trading for any length of time. Okay. There is no coins that maybe, you know, a coin, but you're not going to be in that for a long time. You have to be careful. If you're trading for longs, that's different than if you're just, hey, I'm going to go buy coins and put them away. Do what you want. But I'm not buying any coins, uh, getting any coins to put in my wallet to go long right now. This is not the time to go shopping. I think we still got a couple months and then we can go shopping. So let's take a look at Phantom, that thing. So here's what it is. I'm going to show you a couple more indicators that are kind of helpful for Phantom. All right, here's the whole cycle of Phantom of that box. And then you can see how low the RSI got over here. And then Phantom needs to correct that whole RSI, this whole cycle from here, okay? And one thing that you can do with this RSI is do a retracement on this, like that, okay? 786 on the RSI, it just went past it. More than likely, it's gonna need to come down that 32, um, maybe even down to these areas. So probably on the RSI for Phantom, it's probably going to need to be somewhere right around in that area, you know. So it's it's got, in my opinion, it's got some uh, further uh, further downside to go for that to, you know, make sure that whole cycle is uh, corrected. And then also too, I don't really like this, but you can see on the uh, on the MACD here had the MACD cross back in January for uh, bearish cross. And it's still just straight down. So probably come down some more like that. And then it eventually will start curving back up. It looks like probably, you know, just making a guess, you know, it's looking like maybe July or something like that. You might start seeing this cross or uh, not cross, but curving back up possibly. So just to give you a method to a little bit of my madness, of what's going on with Phantom and why I'm coming up with these numbers is that you don't buy Phantom right now at 83 cents because the probability of it having more downside is high, okay? Not only because Phantom is bearish, but also because the cryptocurrency markets are bearish and also the other markets 
including what's going on with the DXY and the VIX and what's just going on in the world right now. It's a lot of a bearish bearishness for uh, uh, risk assets, tech, uh, tech stocks and, and cryptocurrencies and stuff like that. So be careful um, on that coin. So I wanted to go over and show you guys something on the DXY here. And uh, I think at some point the DXY possibly is going to be making some sort of uh, of lengthy correction um, where, whenever this goes up um, and, and finishes this correction like this then it'll come down it'll come down into a long correction some sort of ABC something like that and that's probably when that fifth wave that I mentioned about on ethereum and Bitcoin that's when that will happen and then this will trend back up and then Bitcoin and Ethereum and cryptocurrencies and the risk assets go back into well bear market. So that's kind of what I'm looking at uh, right now. So just let you guys know. I think there's a bounce probably going to come up a little, a little minor bounce too. It's taking a look at some of the coins and, um, you know, looking at Bitcoin, there's a little bit of a divergence. So it's probably a minor bounce coming up can see uh, you can get one, two, three, four, five. It does look like this was some sort of impulse down. It's amazing. I, it looks like you got a normal normal type move. Um, but this is within a WXY wave, so it's still going to be strange and not um, smooth, I guess you could say. When they're not in these WXY waves, they're kind of smooth. It's, it's just different. I, I don't know how to explain it. But this possibly minor bounce and then swing back down for another impulse more than likely how big how much that will bounce who knows maybe here 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 who knows um it's not much though it's not much divergence it's on the it's just on the 30 minute you know a little bit on the 45 and it's 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 on the hour um and it's not even on the two hours so it's minor minor divergence uh, going over uh, GMT real quick. What's going on with this coin is I think that it's working. Um, this is what I think the coin is doing. And I don't think it's time to short quite yet. I think this is a wave one. It pulled back. You see that right there. Nice wave two. And it's working on its wave three. And uh, it's going to shoot up. So now that I have this data. Let's check that wave out. If that was the wave two, um, you know, you could be getting a shot maybe up to five bucks, possibly if that count is correct. Okay. This is definitely some sort of impulse and more than, uh, more than likely it's a, a, some sort of wave one and now it's working on its three to shoot up. And then, you know, possibly it's gonna go higher than uh, projected. That's a pretty hefty wave one. So, and everything looks good. One, and then it came down. You see that second wave, what I told you guys, how they dumped like that? So this wave one, back down for A, up for B, and dump, just like that. Take a look at that, see that? Down, up, dump. So a nice looking wave two. You can also check the retrace on it, make sure. What did it retrace to? Yeah, just past the golden pocket, would have been nice if it was seven, eight. You know, usually second waves go like to hit that seven eight, but six one eight is good for second waves too. So that's what I think. And then you can see little little mini wave one. Um, let me go deeper into the coin. Um, yeah, it's hard to get these uh, higher time frames off, but you can see possibly something like one two, uh, three four five. Got divergence there. Got to be careful of these smaller time frames on the divergence. They can be tricky, but that's just my that's just my guess on the coin. So it's not time. If you're in it long, you still probably have quite a bit to go, man. I know there's somebody in the chat that's long on this coin, and um, you know you might want to get your get your targets, get your targets out. You know, because it could miss this this target, but it looks like it's going into a wave three, and. Uh, a wave three is always going to hit. 90% of the time, a wave three will hit this 1.618. It will hit that. If it doesn't hit that, it's not a wave three. Okay? So 
Um, me personally, if you got in it, I know the guy, I can't remember, a dude from Russia or something like that. Um, you got in 355, dude, I would, at five, five dollars, I would take my, I would take my profits and run. <laughs> you know, I just would, man. I just would. That's just me personally. Ape coin. All right, going over ape coin here. You know, this correction, that looks like a wave two. You see that? A wave two. Looks like a wave two. So, and if I go out to the four hour, let's take a look at the four hour eight coin. Looking like, so there's a wave, corrected that. It's just looking like, okay, it's doing the whole cycle. It's correcting the whole cycle. Um, gonna have to see what's going on with this coin. So if it's a wave two, then somehow this is end of the cycle. So one, two, three, four, five, possibly. Just gonna have to see what's going on with the coin. And uh, just looks like a wave two to me, guys, not a wave four. You know, it doesn't look like a wave four. You can see in here an impulse move, it looks like, with divergence, a B move, a B wave. And then you can see an impulse move right here. One, two, three, it's up for a four. It looks like it may be down for a five or it could be starting off something. So it's just got some proving to do to see where this thing is going to go. Um, you know, that's a pretty, where did it come from? 27 down to 18. Um, pretty significant drop, 33%. Yeah, it's like a wave two, guys. It seems like it's a wave two. But it can't be a wave two. of It's a wave two of something. Let's see here. You know. Yeah, that'd be a wave two of this area. Of this, this wave. You know, maybe it's more bullish than, than I think. Maybe this is one, two, one, two, one, two. It could be. It can't be that bullish. There's just no way. That's just too bullish, man. That's just crazy. If, it, if it's like this, and then this is a one, two, like that, you know, that, that's insane, man. This is insane if it, does, if it has this, you know, one, one, two. Th this would be insane, guy. This, th th that would be parabolic. It would it would it would be parabolic move something like that, but that just seems like a second wave, and its its fib levels are for this wave, so it's got to be. If it's the if it's a fifth wave, see I've shown you if it's a fifth wave, this whole thing will correct. So it'd be up here, and it needs to be down. It needs to be in this area for this whole thing. And if it's this, just this, even this doesn't make sense, but if you check that right here, up here, then it needs to be, it needs to be here and maybe even down here in this area. So, you know, um, we just have to see, just have to see on the correction and see where it corrects, see where it corrects and then if it starts moving out of there on an impulse, but it's in my it's in my target area right now. So let's just see how far it drops. Um, that's pretty much it. I just I think that there's a possible bounce that's probably going to be happening. Um, sandbox is it looks like it's going to go down, and we we'll go to sandbox is probably going to hit those areas at two dollar the two dollar area. Let's check it on the daily. Yeah. So, you know, what I'd like to see with Sandbox is that's a three weight move. You see, this is one, two, three, and then one. This is a, um, a three weight move up for an X and a three weight move. So, you don't want to see divergence like that. So, Sandbox is going to go down more. You don't want to see, so you see this. It's, it's like this, W, X, and then one, two, W, X, Y. 
and it's a three-way move on sandbox so you don't want to see this divergence on that three-way move this needs to be down here it needs to pop sandbox needs to come down here to that dollar 80 and take that out so there's no divergence so it's like this and then you know sandbox you'll, it'll be like right here at price and then you'll know okay that's probably the bottom on sandbox right there that's what you want to see right now it has divergence on this three-way move that's no good so sandbox has more downside um let me see what else is there um hex is pumping it's going over um hex and you know guys this this move if you guys are in this coin and it gets up to like 20 25 cents and you're looking to exit i would probably do it that that look at that that uh, uh volume you know over here is impulsive moves you see that volume and then you see this that's the sign that's one of the ways you check for a corrective move you look and go okay let me see i can't really you know you're trying to investigate it what's going on one of the things you want to check is the volume and if it has low volume more than likely it's a corrective move but you know the problem is with hex is that even though on um what is it those places where they put it it's it says it's it has like all this 50 billion dollar market cap no it's like a 20 million dollar market cap coin it's real small so you know maybe um some uh bigger people in hex bought the coin or something like that i don't know it's it's just very strange to me this is this is suspicious to me guys you know personally if i had it this would be uh, exit exit for me and maybe that's what's what the plan is in this area to pump it up here to 23 cents and then people want to exit they're just maybe they're tired of it or they just want to get out that would be that seems reasonable to me so um you know and especially with what's going on in the market right now you know you should be long on any coins that includes hex that's just my opinion you know so not financial advice i guess i should say and stuff like that so anyhow that's pretty much every anything uh everything i wanted to cover guys you know here on friday night if you're listening to this hey get pumped up man in the crypto market you know because in my opinion in my opinion the uh the shopping the shopping days for the real prices on coins are coming they are coming i think we have another couple months at least a couple months before you're going to get these uh these good prices on these coins like this uh whatever coins that you like you know even even luna i still have a target on luna of down here getting this 60 uh area it's gonna eventually it's gonna wander down there it's got a correct it's got a correct either this five is here or here i'm not sure which one if this five is here it's got a lot more to go i, I don't know but um you know here's the here's the issue with luna guys right here you see that so don't get your hopes up on luna here's the third you know that's that's a that's a good amount on the daily of divergence and i know it's come down quite a bit and more that's a good amount in my opinion that um that divergence something is keeping this up something's keeping this up i don't know if it's a ust burn and luna and everything but it could be it could be so all right guys thanks for watching my video peace